good afternoon. Where am I? Of course the train would come. It was waiting, wasn't it? Well, he's gonna make the video now. Ding, ding, go. That doesn't really allow this train to go. It's gone. What train? So, this lovely lady at the end has swept all this. Dealt with George, dealt with George. Um, we hit the end of the road with George, our part of the road. Going back from the beach, she was nearly dead. Stayed here for a couple of nights. Um, poor little fucker. Yeah. So, this morning, this is heavy stormage and there's still a lot of mess. So I came along here in the brush. Oh, yeah, I'll help. I like brushing. Back home I had a little bit of a job. Mopping, brushing, cleaning. So, I was down here and we've done all this together and our old man came out and took the dog out and so George was in there for about not long. Made a little dem for him. Worried whether the gattos, gattos would have him. And I said, no, a cat won't go in there, it can't get out. And my money's on that bird anyway. So, left it with this lady. She went, immediately went on the phone, took a picture of the bird and apparently misled the authorities about the true species. So they come quicker. I'm not gonna name names, but that was pretty clever. So we went, I more or less was just sitting down and they came. The animal protection came. And I was just, all I did was walk back there. You know. And so, did that really happen? So, um, ah, yeah, that's well taken care of. So we went to Tryon Park at the Weatherspoons type of place on the seafront, all round. So we ended up parking kind of on the end of the beach. And, um, Man in this little coffee bar, strong coffee, required sugar, won't go there again. And um, and I, uh, we sat down, turned away, and I said, I'm just going to have a look at the sea. I uh, to look at it. Oh, God, that's nice. There's people in it. Went back, got my bag, went in. And I was swimming in a circle in a little corner. And um, I forgot I was doing it. You know, when you do, when I, my swim here is that to there and back. But I was going around in a circle and I literally, for about three or four minutes, was like, oh, yeah, wait, I'm swimming in the sea here. So then you're there, aren't you? It's like, uh, well, using their analogy, you know that. So um, there was a guy singing at the top of his voice when I was walking down there and I put him at about, 75, 80, easy. And he's coming down there with his trunks on and he's singing at the top of his voice, walking. So I went back and got my bag and I came down and got changed, went in and he's still singing at the top of his voice and swimming. <laughs> Red and butter. Yeah. So, let's get you back. So um, we went around to... Where did we go? Um, ended up at the top on the main road and went in a Chinese shop with a list of things. And, um, you know, tr got some of them, came out, and then we went to like a junk shop. And um, what an amazing shop. What an amazing shop assistant. I didn't say that. So, uh, a fridge has been bought. We met a Welsh person, yeah, and um, very helpful. In fact, very helpful indeed, the top dude. So, oh, you know, I've only got 15 seconds to get back. Breaks into the trot. <laughs> Sprints, actually. It's probably got about five or six left. Gets back to the starting place with two left. Ciao, ciao, ciao.